Welcome to the Continuum Lab. Today I'm making a MIDI flute mouthpiece. Because last year when I made the original flute airflow sensor, I was kind of improvising and I know that I can do better. So first of all, I won't be able to use this breath pressure sensor which has worked so well for my recent mouthpieces because a pressure chamber really makes no sense on a flute. We won't be measuring pressure at all, but rather air flow. So uh, I'll need a complete conceptual reboot. In the breath pressure sensor, the main component which makes everything possible is the flexible membrane. It responds to air pressure and activates the sensors. So I came up with an equivalent solution for air flow. Introducing the flap. Just like the membrane, the flap has to flex under the pressure of the player's breath. So I'll make it out of the same flexible material that I use for the membranes, which is balloon latex. You can see how that responds when I blow on it, so now we just need to make a mouthpiece which will help us measure that. It's super easy and it's going to take like two minutes, let's do it. For the basic structure I'm going to use corrugated cardboard. I'll need four pieces like these. Then of course there's the electronics. I have my good old breakout board which is the one I designed for my Continuum Lab workshops and as always there's a Teensy LC microcontroller on there. But what I actually need right now is the 3mm LED and the BPW34 photodiode modules. These come from my Continuum Lab instrument kit and they make everything much easier because they already have the necessary resistors and connections on there and can be plugged straight into the breakout board. Now I prepare the cardboard. I want to make this shape, but before I glue everything together I need to do a couple of things. These two pieces will hold the sensor and LED, so I cut out a module sized space on each of them. Now I can glue the individual pieces shut and also glue the LED and sensor modules in place. Lastly, I want to make sure that the inside part here is protected against humidity, because I will be blowing through it. Some strategically applied packing tape will help with that. And now I'm ready for the final assembly. As you can see, the sensor and LED are now facing each other across the gap in the mouthpiece at the very top. Next, I'll need some thin transparent plastic from a food container. With this mouthpiece, you don't actually put anything in your mouth like with the other ones, but you do touch it against your lower lip. The packing tape might be fine in most cases, especially if it's polypropylene, but this food grade plastic just seems more hygienic. I'll bend this piece of plastic into shape so that it can cover the side of the flute which I touch with my mouth. Then a drop of glue to hold it in place. The final touch is the flap, of course. This fingertip sized piece that I showed you before will do nicely. I'll cut a pointy shape into one end which will give a more gradual activation of the sensor. There are a few ways of fixing this to the mouthpiece, but easiest of all is just to use a drop of hot glue, so let's go with that. The orientation and placement of the flap is important. A longer flap is more sensitive, but if it's too long it will sag under its own weight. And now I'm ready to plug these cables into the breakout board, and then connect to the computer via USB. The sketch for this mouthpiece is pretty much the same as for the other breath sensor projects. It's just a simple analog read type of thing with a bit of filtering and some MIDI output. Let's try it out. <laughs> That's awesome. This is one of those things where you look at it and you think maybe some kind of joke, but then you play it and it just feels so natural. Um, also, you need to exercise some precision here with your airstream, which makes it feel more realistic because a real flute also demands precision. Yeah, I have to say, I'm really happy with how that turned out. I will certainly be making another full MIDI flute type instrument again sometime soon just because this mouthpiece is so much fun that it really deserves a whole instrument to go with it. So if you want to make sure that you don't miss that, then you should definitely subscribe right here in the Continuum Lab YouTube channel and also find me over on Instagram, also as Continuum Lab. And that's all for now. Take care until next time and I'll see you in the Continuum.